So upgrades coming in for Williams on the engine and aero side in what proved to be a wet qualifying for the Belgian Grand Prix. As you can see here, the Red Bull are struggling and also the Williams of Brown struggling as well for what is going to be an exciting Grand Prix. And it's Brown on pole for the first time this season with Max Verstappen in the Ferrari alongside him. The wet weather proved to be eventful with Hulkenberg and Magnussen P3 and P4, Carlos Sainz P5 with Charles Leclerc P6, P7 and P8 are Sergio Perez and Devon Butler in the Renault. Demkin, Valtteri, Bottas and Roman Grosjean rounding out the top 10. Then it's George Russell with Pierre Gasly alongside him. Lando Norris is 13th with Sebastian Vettel a surprising 14th. Lance Stroll is still down in 15th with Alexander Albon 16th. Antonio Giovinazzi 17th with Daniel Ricciardo P18. And on the final row of the grid both with penalties is Lewis Hamilton and Lucas Weber. Hi guys Brown here welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for part number 53 for the Belgium Grand Prix I know it's been a while since the last one in Hungary um, I've been struggling to edit these videos basically but we're back the coronavirus isn't affecting us we move on through this career we're starting on the mediums we managed to Set the time before it started raining, so let's get into the start of this Belgium Grand Prix as the five lights come on and it's lights out and away we go and we are straight over to the left to cover off Max Verstappen but Nico Hulkenberg tries to get down her inside. So as you can see top right of your screen you will see my actual perspective because for these angles you don't really get to see my perspective of the race as through a rouge for the first time and through Radion and now down the Camel straight we're going to be left defending Nico Hulkenberg down the straight we go Hulkenberg pulls to our inside we're kind of left in the middle trying to defend Max Verstappen as well but Verstappen goes all the way around the outside of Nico Hulkenberg we can't see it because I clearly weren't watching the replay whilst do it whilst recording this and I'm just watching myself so you can just about see in the background that Max Verstappen has actually overtaken Nico Hulkenberg and got back his P2 through pull on now and hopefully we can pull away we are going to be on a different strategy to those behind they're on the sauce but through Blanchimon we defend Max Verstappen now and now heading into the bus stop for the first time Nico Hulkenberg fancies his chances round the outside down the inside for the second part has he got the traction? no he hasn't and Max Verstappen fends off the McLaren into Lassos for the second time and now heading down the hill what has Max Verstappen got in his locker as we go through our rouge and now over the top of the hill over Radion and now down the straight once again where is Verstappen going to go he's going to go to the outside we cover off the inside and now Max is going to sail around the outside or attempt to we kind of force him on that wide line cut his line off and we stay ahead in the lead but we kind of make a mistake there and round the outside we have to defend Max Verstappen he's on our inside that will be the outside for no name corner and we defend him again how much longer can we do this through pull on round the outside Verstappen tries again we fend him off these mediums really and not switched on Verstappen holds his line around the outside that then goes to the inside for the chicane and we're just still there just you can see us there and now we're going to have to defend to the outside but I, I was too nice I left in too much space and he's still there you can see and as we go around that right hander Verstappen has taken the lead off of us for the Belgium Grand Prix and now we're left defending Nico Hulkenberg once again and hopefully we can actually get back after Max Verstappen here but we're going to try and send it 
we're going to have to do that without actually ended up covering off Nico Hulkenberg there out of the bus stop we go and on to lap 3 this is Kevin Magnussen going for a pop on Nico Hulkenberg them two had an amazing qualifying the wet weather really helped them out as they're side by side and is Magnussen going to brave it out through a uh, rouge yes he is round the outside is Nico Hulkenberg Magnussen gave up and now skipping on to lap 5 and it's all chaos I can't really explain what's going on here Carlos Sainz goes down the inside of Nico Hulkenberg and now Carlos Sainz gives up on that idea and sits back behind Nico Hulkenberg after the McLaren did get a better exit the hearts of Magnussen has actually broke away from this battle now one lap later on to lap 6 here comes Carlos Sainz again you can see the the gap we've pulled they've caught Magnussen again down the inside goes Nico Hulkenberg on Magnussen they're still side by side and now Magnussen defends but Carlos Sainz fancies his chances they're side by side but Carlos Sainz gives up again and now on to lap 7 one lap later again Carlos Sainz is he going to make it free of breast no he's not you can see the, the gap we are pulling at this point Carlos Sainz has gone all the way around the outside and he's got the job done he's still side by side I think he's just ahead into that long right hander Nico Hogenberg's broken away into no name can he brave it out around the outside yes he can now heading down towards Pilmon Charles Leclerc's going to make it free of breast and he couldn't get out anything out of it but he's just helped Carlos Sainz out of there getting past Kevin Magnussen Magnussen kind of got scared and backed out of it and now he's going to have to do it again somewhere um, Kevin Magnussen has actually rear taken another three wide again that's the racing point of Sergio Perez Nico Hulkenberg stretched his legs round the outside Carlos Sainz has lost out to Charles Leclerc it's absolute chaos in this Belgium Grand Prix what a race George Russell's just got past someone there and now skipping on a couple of corners George Russell going down the inside at Puan of Carlos Sainz and getting the job done like it's absolutely nothing now skipping all the way on to lap 10 Max Verstappen he kind of broke away from us and we were just maintaining the gap it was around 3-4 seconds and on lap 10 those soft tyres have reached their end and he's going to go on to the set of the mediums now this is kind of where it gets interesting for us we're on the mediums of course how far can we take them because we could be very very kind of deadly at the end of so Verstappen comes out the pits now he's gonna come out in some traffic but they are going to pit at the end of lap nine so it's not too bad for him but he's still gonna have to get past them to stop um, himself not going to lose any time to us and now he's getting closer he's getting closer he's going to pull to the inside and he's going to go for it on the racing point but he's going to get blocked off that was a bit dirty there and now he's going to have to go to the outside of large stroll to the outside again he gets the job done I think it's Giovinazzi ahead of him he has got the job done it's actually Sergio Perez I think and now skipping on into the bus stop chicane Max Verstappen kind of sat there and into the pits they go and now Max Verstappen is back into P2 onto that 12 this is Carlos Sainz he hasn't made much progress but he has pitted through pool when he goes and now what can he do but he's slowing down and he's out of the Belgium Grand Prix he's going to pull off here Carlos Sainz he hasn't had the best of days has he and it's just got even worse the virtual safety car has been deployed we were literally at the final corner so I literally had to cut like reactions turn right and just about got into the pits you just sort of we kind of cut and missed the bollard but it's a game they don't know that you just don't tell them as we head down the pit straight they're now into the pits into the pit box rather we're on to the softs K 
can we beat out Max Verstappen? He's in to last source, he's out to last source, and we have beat him out. But the game said it's an illegal move. That's uh, that's always good. Um, Cody's, I don't know what's happened there. That's not an illegal move. I, I ever took him in the pits. I don't think that's how it works. But anyway, we are on the back of Max Verstappen. We've gone to his outside. We've sailed round his outside. That little kind of game glitch hasn't affected us. We've still got past Verstappen, but that's not really an overtake we really needed to make. But at least we still could overtake Max Verstappen. This is the replay of when Carlos Sainz retired, and this was a replay of literally my reaction to getting into the pits. One lap later, on to lap 14, here comes Max Verstappen. We cut off his line, so he has to back out, and we stay ahead. And now can we just get our foot down all the way on to lap 15 this is Nico Hulkenberg making it free wide and now he's lost out in the contact there between Valtteri Bottas not again Bottas in Belgium of course he made contact with his teammate last season and now this is Nico Hulkenberg slowing down and what's everyone doing behind him is absolute chaos oh no the full safety car has now been deployed. Nico Hulkenberg is out of this race. We were 5.6 seconds ahead of Max Verstappen, and that gap was kind of staying stable. And that has just been wiped out. We move on to lap 20 though, when the safety car will come in. We did a very, very, very slow restart because. It's, it's basically a straight, the last sector of this Belgium Grand Prix circuit all the way through Blanchin 1, it's basically a straight, it's all flat so if we went early then we'd probably just get slipstream and lose the lead so we are backing them up very, very closely we would probably go now we have gone and we can get this race back underway 22 laps is the total number of laps so it is a two lap sprint to the end of this Grand Prix we have got the gap out just to Max Verstappen into La Source and now we've gone a bit wide though is Max Verstappen too far away to challenge us? Yes, he is. On to the final lap, though. He isn't now. Down the inside. This is Verstappen's last chance. We squeeze him right to the inside. We defend him. George Russell somehow third. I weren't really watching his race. He was in it earlier. But through the long right-hander. And now into the bus stop chicane for the final time we round the final corner and we will win in Belgium for our second win of the season we kick off the second half of the season in the best possible way here they are then coming into Park Ferme and an excellent win for the Williams team Anthony Davidson what helped them deliver this result do you think Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. So here they come now with Williams leading the way to the podium. A hard-fought victory for the team today and what I'm sure they'll savour. It's Williams, today's winners. Well, what a race that was. That's been your Belgian Grand Prix. We win. We get back-to-back -back podiums with Germany. Well, that was well fought, well deserved. The game tried to screw us, but we bounced back from it. We've re-jumped George Russell. George Russell did a great job to actually get on the podium from where he started. 
we are making good gains in the constructions with that result into the paddock and we will change um, some components before the Italian Grand Prix and how that car was in Belgium the Italian Grand Prix is going to be absolutely amazing but if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in Italy